I've been a photographer for almost 50 years now. And so I have an extensive archive with uh, work going back to the early 70s. And so over the years, not just during the pandemic, over the last uh, decade or so, I've been revisiting work from the past and seeing uh, it in fresh ways and trying to understand its relevance today. Looking back at the India work, one of the things that I've done over the last um, 10, 15 years is remastered a lot of my images from the past because I worked with shooting film and then made prints. And the facility that I gain with Photoshop by scanning my negatives and then working um, on them in that Photoshop space and then making prints from um, those files, I can just make a much truer to my intention uh, image uh, in terms of its fidelity and subtlety of tone, color, and so on and so forth. So, you know, over the last several years, I've been remastering a lot of the pictures that I made in the 80s in India and also uh, discovered a lot of work that um, I hadn't given sort of priority or due attention to back at the time that I was in the midst of the experience of being in India, being mm -hmm. married to Mira Nair, working on films. It was a very intense and very uh, full period where there wasn't a whole lot of time for introspective uh, reflection and detachment. Uh, right. Because I was working both as a photographer, uh, doing my own work in that period. I was also doing commissioned work. And I was also collaborating with Mira on several of, of, of her films through the 80s. Um, well, in fact, all of them. You know, I'm from, a, I grew up in a small uh, town in Massachusetts, and I moved to New York in 1972. And that's really where I gained, uh, that's where I studied photography, mm -hmm. and I gained uh, traction here. I served uh, a kind of you know, period that was kind of an apprenticeship with a mentor teacher. But one of the things I love about New York is that, uh, that I always felt like I had a certain anon anonymity um, mm -hmm. out in the city. Uh, um, and I felt something similar in Bombay, uh, that I could be myself. I was very pleased with the, um, so the, the, uh, the graphic, because I think also it kind of plays and it really feels almost like in a, in a kind of a good way, like it was made in India. It wasn't, it's was made in Germany. So somewhere in between, I think it is a kind of a tribute in a way to, mm -hmm. to color and to the, to the, to, to the sensuous and, and um, very vivid uh, expression of things that comes through color. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.